Hello, beloved. I've been listening to one of Wayne Dyer's books yesterday and this morning. And in this section, I just paused. He's been talking about relationships. He was talking about parenting, and he was talking about being a good parent. And uh, eventually it brought me to incredible tears and I just said and I'm sharing this with you um, because I'm sharing all of the truth and I uh, I just cried and I said it would have been so nice to have a father like that who loved me for me and who spoke in this way that Wayne Dyer speaks about being a parent and I just said over and over I cried this morning and I just I said it would have been nice to have to be loved just for me um, it would have been nice if my father had been that way. And uh, that's all I can really say. And so the topic of this video today, which I had intended previously, I wrote notes, I wrote a few notes down to myself. I, I just added this bit in the front because I'm sharing the truth with you, the unvarnished truth, and for what that's worth, as it may, as it may serve you, as it may strengthen you in, uh, in your connecting with the infinite in 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 your uh, journey of empowerment that this pain is very deep and um I'm not sure where it manifests I'm I'm not sure where um, I'm not sure where it goes, but I'm just telling the truth and, uh, trying not to cry myself ugly here. So the topics of this video today are one, that self-care is your divine, what's, I want to get it right, yeah, self-care is your divine responsibility. Not, not only is you being happy and being fulfilled, your divine right, self-care is your divine responsibility. Um, and I spoke briefly in the in a previous video at the end about the necessity to be selfish and the divine right that each of us must, I, I mean, it, it is our duty to ourselves to execute this. It is our divine right and responsibility to care for ourselves, to love ourselves, to be selfish, to prioritize ourselves. And... Um, this is the actual harmonious, this is the harmonious uh, wisdom with the ideas of being a positive impact in your world as you walk your path. Whatever your path is, 
is for no one to define but you. And as you walk that path and as you fulfill your path, your divine path, that it is yours and it is your divine right to execute it. It is your divine right to follow it. It is your divine right to decide it. At the same time, we are infinite and we are children of the infinite. And so thereby we are a part of the infinite as much as it is a part of us. And we are all connected because of that. So the second point, um, or this, the third portion of this will be to talk about the fact that you are worthy. Why is it your divine right to have everything you want in life? Literally, no limitations. Because you are actually worthy by being. And this is another point. But before I do that, the concept of self-love. I have wept this morning and I have felt this deep pain of saying that it would have been nice to have been loved or to be loved and cared for and protected just because of me. And excuse me. So my father did not give that to me, nor did my mother. Um, as I wrote about in my book, I realized that my parents actually hated me. Um, and, you know, I didn't understand for many, many years why they did what they did. And I don't have to really understand. I just have to find that infinite in myself um, but what I do know and what I have come to understand just by virtue of other people sharing wisdom and my 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 uh, being afforded wisdom from others and and all of that is unfortunately my parents actually hated me and it would have been nice that they had actually loved me just for me and protected me in all of this. So Louise Hay, who is an extremely wise person, an extremely wise voice on this planet who's given us uh, her inspiration and thank goodness for it. Um, she wrote that self-love is at the center of every solution, as is self-hatred is at the center of all suffering, in a way. Or, yeah, I mean, like, all pain and destruction and... Um, ugliness and and suffering are, is sourced at self-hatred in some some expression or another because if someone behaves hatefully to someone else it is because there is a portion that is hating themselves so if i behave rudely or wrongly to someone if i'm unkind to someone it's because i'm there's a part of me that is in is feeling inadequate there's a part of me that's feeling some had this there's something in me that's off. So when people when when humans are hateful to others, they're hating something in themselves. So then self-love is at the root of all good things. It is at the root of all healing. It is at the root of all, all of our best, all of our best expression of ourselves, all of our best acts, all of our inspiration, all of it, all of the greatness that we can manifest in this physical expression. It is the product of self-love. 
So the pursuit of executing, of being self-love is your number one objective. You must love yourself, truly, every bit. And from that point, then have inspired action or 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 then in, then realize inspired action from that love of yourself and i cannot love another if i do not love myself if i hate myself i can't love another person really uh so that self love and then right along with that or right in the same really in the same space and 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 the very essential the essential part of this is that you are worthy i am worthy it is my divine right it is your divine right to have everything that you want in life everything no limitations Some philosophy teaches, uh, this is from also Esther and Jerry Hicks, everything that you desire already exists, but more than that, you desire it because you are supposed to have it. You desire it because you are supposed to have it, not because it was some outside fantasy that has nothing to do with you. You desire it because you are supposed to have it and because you are worthy. You were born worthy. We are taught by society and by many, many, many negative voices. So many, so many of them, right? We're surrounded by negative voices. We're surrounded by destructive energies. And those voices are are very eager to convince us and and we are indoctrinated from early 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 from the very beginning we're indoctrinated to uh, 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 to adopt this belief that we have to prove ourselves if you look at the worst parts of religion you will look at the the language that is used about how we are unworthy sinners and we must prove ourselves this is absolute and utter nonsense it's bullshit it is a criminally it's a criminal lie it's a criminally negligent lie or negligence no it's a criminal lie it's very purposeful we do not have to prove anything I didn't have to prove to my parents that I deserved to be loved just for me I that was not my job to prove that excuse me we do not have to prove that we are worthy You do not have to prove that you are worthy. Excuse me. You are worthy because you are. That's it. You are worthy because you came here. You are worthy because you are. And everything that you desire is because you're supposed to have it. So, you, so then, of course, like, well, why don't I have it? This is where the law of attraction is so essential. This is where the concept of self-love is so essential. This is where understanding, knowing, deep down, knowing our worthiness is so essential it is critical 
how do we get to know our worthiness? How do we get there? We start from whatever place we need to start. We start from exactly wherever we need to start and we just keep stepping in that direction. We just keep listening to that wisdom. We just keep repeating. We just keep looking inward and we do whatever is necessary such as I if fully intend, I am dropping three inches off of my behind. <laughs> For me, okay, some people, ah, oh, you don't have a problem. Some people would say, oh, you're, you're, you're not, your ass is not too big. Fine, but it's not them in my body, it's me in my body. And it's me who wants to see a better shape than what I have. I'm not saying it's terrible, but it's not where I want it to be. So, but I love, I look in the mirror and I say, okay, I am so happy to be ridding myself of these three inches. I'm so happy to be ridding. I, I see myself as uh, without those three inches right now. I see myself that way. But I love myself as I am. Because I've gotten, you know, I've, over the years, I have stayed a very active person. I am, happen to be a certified fitness instructor, which is just, was just really a, an expression of my commitment to a lifetime of being a fit person. So I'm strong, you know, I can show you my muscles. I have strength. I have fitness. I always have better I, I'm always aiming to be better. So, but I love what it is now in terms of what I have achieved in my life so far. So I look at the part that I don't, my butt is too big for me. Okay. I don't like, I want my smaller butt. Okay. Well, I love the way it is now and I appreciate the way, thank you. And I start from the place of saying, well, I love you the way it is now. And I'm so happy to be bringing myself to that point of that desired point. But I am not attached. I just am so happy to be that. So... I was feeling this morning as I cried and as you've seen me cry here, this terrible pain of how it would have been nice if my parents had loved me instead of hating me. And I can just say to that emotion, okay, well, okay, I appreciate you. And I'm allowing you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not trying to fight the emotion. I'm not trying to fight this feeling. And I'm also saying that I allow for all kinds of love to come now. So I feel the pain of it would have been nice if I if my parents had loved me and I recognize that I don't try to fight that I don't try to engage in resistance to those feelings and I say at the same time also and I welcome all love from everywhere I open my heart and I allow for all love to come in and I I place myself in the position of being love as well even though I feel the pain of its absence, and even though I feel a lot of fear about the circumstances I'm dealing with now, uh, um, even with all of that, I say, okay, well, these are perfect, these are feelings, and they happen, and they come to pass their feelings and 
I allow for all goodness to come in. I accept these feelings and I allow for all goodness and all love to come. And I continue to be the person, I continue to be the person who is, I am fabulously loved, I am fabulously fulfilled, I am fabulously rich. Everything is paid a hundred thousand times over. I intend upon my total fulfillment. I intend upon my complete fitness. I look at what I am now and I pick things and I say, well, I love this now. I extend love to this now. I send love to myself now. I open my heart to all love and all acceptance, all abundance, all fulfillment, even though I don't know where it's coming from. I don't have any idea of where it may come from. That is not my department. My department is to simply surrender all of my resistance, open my heart, and allow. How is not my department. That is the infinite department. We are infinite and we are children of the infinite. And by that, we are entitled to see all of that infinite occur. We just don't have to worry about how. We don't have to worry about the mechanics. And the possibilities are so vast that in my physical body, I don't have the ability to conceive of these infinite possibilities. So I let that be the department of the infinite where I don't have to worry about trying to control anything. I just allow. So beloved, may you find a way today, every day, to open yourself and allow yourself to be loved Allow yourself to love yourself. Allow yourself to learn what that means. Learn how to express that. But everything that you do that you care for yourself, you are showing yourself love. And you can use the mechanism of looking in the mirror or looking at something or writing a note to yourself or doing some action that says, well, I just did that thing for myself. I love, it's an act of loving, of, it's an act of me loving myself. And that can be a practical place to begin. And every day, as many times a day as you need, if you need to say it to yourself all day, just keep saying it. I am worthy. I do not have to prove my worthiness. I am worthy just because. I am worthy just because. You are loved.